Good day everyone. In this video, we will tackle the general equation of a circle and how to rewrite the equation of a circle from general form to standard form. In the previous discussion, I introduced to you the standard form of the equation of a circle. It is in the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Take note that the standard form is also what we call the center radius form because this is the form of the equation where we can easily get the center and radius of a circle. But this time, we will discuss about the general equation or the general form of the equation of a circle. It is in the form ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. Take note that a, c, d, e, and f are all real numbers. And I will teach you how to rewrite from general form to the standard form equation of the circle. For example, number one, we have to rewrite the equation of the circle defined by x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y equals 7 into standard form. Take note that the standard form must be in this form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared where h and k here are the coordinates of the center and then r is the radius. So let's begin solving for this. First step is we need to copy the general equation. And in order for us to transform this equation into standard form, we have to do completing the square. So second step is we need to separate all the terms with the variable x. And then put plus here because that is the operation in the standard form. And separate also those terms with the variable y. And then all the constant term will be placed in the right side of the equation. So there we have x squared minus 2x, put a space there. And then plus y squared minus 2y, then put also a space there. Why do we have spaces here? It is because we will be solving for the third term that will make this one a perfect square trinomial. So next step is we need to solve for that third term we have to get the numerical coefficient of x here that is positive 2 disregard the sign whether it's positive or negative just get the numerical coefficient and then after getting the numerical coefficient we have to divide it with a constant 2 so 2 divided by 2 that is equal to positive 1 and then after getting the quotient we have to square the quotient and then that is equal to positive 1. Therefore, we have to add here 1. When you do that on the left side of the equation, you also have to do that on the right side of the equation to make our equation balance. And for our y variable, we also have to do the same. We have to get the numerical coefficient of y here, and that is 2. Disregard again the sign, and then divide it with the constant number, which is 2. So 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. And then square 1, that is equal to positive 1. So we have to add here 1. And when you do that on the left side of the equation, you also have to do that on the right side of the equation. And the next step is we need to simplify this one. That is x minus 1 squared. Then copy plus sign. We rewrite that in this form y minus 1 squared and then we have to add all these numbers we have 7 plus 1 that is equal to 8 8 plus 1 that is equal to 9 therefore this is the standard form of the given general equation i want to add if you want to get the center and the radius of the circle you can easily get the value of h which is positive 1 and the value of k is also positive 1. And the radius just get the square root of 9, the answer is 3. Now let us move on to the second example. We are on our last example, we have number 2, find the center and radius of a circle defined 
by the equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 10y is equal to 66. I will teach you how to get the center and radius of a circle by rewriting first the general equation to standard form and then later on get the center and radius. So do the same thing the same way on how we have solved number one. Um, we have to rewrite this general equation into this form and then let us solve for this. Let's copy first the general equation and to transform this one into standard form so we can get the center and radius is we need to do completing the square. So let us separate first all the terms with variable x and all the terms with variable y and put a plus sign here because that is the operation in standard form. And then all the constant term on the right side of the equation. So let us complete the square. We have here get the numerical coefficient of x and that is 6 and then divided with the constant number which is 2. So 6 divided by 2 that is equal to 3 and then when you get the quotient you have to square that one. Square of 3 that is equal to positive 9. So you have to add 9 here and when you do that you have to also add 9 on the right side of the equation. And then let's move on to the y variable. We have here 10 divided with a constant number which is 2. So 10 divided by 2 that is equal to 5 and then square 5 that is equal to 25. So we have to add here 25 and we also add on the right side of the equation 25. And then let us rewrite this x squared minus 6x plus 9. You can rewrite that in this form x minus 3 squared and then for the y variable we have y plus 5 squared and then add all the constant number we have 66 plus 9 plus 25 that is equal to 100 so this will be the standard form of this circle now because our goal is to find the center and radius it's easy to identify because we already have the center radius form so just get the value of the center. Don't forget to alter the sign. So from x minus 3, get the value of h here that is positive 3. And then from y plus 5, the value of k is equal to negative 5. And for the radius, just get the square root of 100 that is equal to 10. And that's the final answer. We have the standard form of the equation and we also have the center and radius. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next video.